Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about manual J heat load calculation, one story home part six. So in this video, we're going to show how to select the equipment based on the heat load. And then we're going to be talking about target CFM, design CFM, and also how to compare, compare those values based on manual A, manual S in ACA. All right. All right. So let's get into it. So from the previous video, uh, we were talking about these zones and two systems, right? So we're going to get rid of all of them because our, in, in our example, we're talking about only one story home. And this was only for to explain the multi-zone tray. Okay. So let's start getting rid of this. So we don't need this. So you click in there, delete. We click in there, delete. And also in order to delete the other rooms, what we're going to do is you cannot delete systems. Okay, if you click in system and you click delete, you get an error. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to delete zones first. You can, you are able to delete zones, not systems. Okay, so let's click on zone number one, delete. We're all good with this? Yes. Okay, click on zone number two, delete. Okay, we're good with that then. Now we only have system number one and system number two. So in order to delete system number two, what you have to do is you just need to drag all the rooms to the other system so that way the system will disappear automatically so by doing that we're gonna click on bat one we're gonna hold shift so it could select all of them and i'm going to put everything under system number one there we go it automatically erased the other system number two okay so now we have everything under one system and then we're gonna click okay there we go, X out. So now what, 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 what we're gonna do is we're going to delete these rooms that we didn't need. There we go. So this is what we originally had in the, in the beginning. Okay. So now because we did so many changes, we, did, we added one system, we added zones, we need to double check before selecting our equipment, we have to make sure that we, everything is correct. Because any time that you delete something or you make changes that you're deleting a lot of things. So sometimes it resets the values. So in this case, what we're going to check is the tonnage first. So where do you check the tonnage under zone information? So you go to zone information. There we go. And the tonnage right now is 2.1 ton. What happens is that as you can see, it reset. So it's it, the values are not there anymore for ventilation. So we're going to add ventilation in here and then we're going to put C, central ventilation type. This is going to be outside air see for heating and outside air for cooling. In other videos, we're going to be talking about maybe heat recovery, energy recovery, ventilating the humidifier. But in this case, let's do the method outside air when your uh, ventilation method is exhaust fan only, the exhaust from the bathroom. Outside air only, right? Okay. So let's go with it. There we go. So now what we're going to do in here is also put the number of bedrooms. As you can see in here, the number of bedrooms are one, two, three bedrooms. So let's go back to the zone information and the number of bedrooms are three. So the way you can change that under number of bedrooms is you click in there and you hit F8. Then we're going to override it three. There we go. Now you're going to be able also to select the ASHRAE ventilation 62.2. 2010 you have the options 2013 2014 it gives you more ventilation 2019 depending on your jurisdiction okay manual j do not use so this is so little this is 21 for ventilation that's not good as 62.2 2010 is what we usually use uh, and but depends on the jurisdiction what if the client or homeowner wants okay you have to do as 2013 or 2016 then you just select that option but in this case we're doing 2010 for now Okay, so with that, we have our tonnage 2.2 ton unit for cooling capacity. Okay, but just to be safe, we always, we, uh, we consider this blower power. So we're going to check on that is adding 500 watts of extra load. So in other words, my tonnage right now is 2.4 ton units. That's, that is in case you want to be very, very conservative. So it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Okay, so in this case, if you have 2.4 ton unit, you are expecting a 2.5 ton unit because the tonnage comes in uh, 0.5s. For example, you can have in here 
2 ton, 2.5, 3 ton, 3.5, 4, 4.5, and 5, uh, I mean 4 ton, and then 5 ton unit. So in this case, I'm expecting a 2.5 ton unit. All right. Since uh, we're gonna be, we're gonna be double checking also in the infiltration. The infiltration is one story. Okay, simplified method. Exposure three is not a town home. For town homes, we have one and two. But since this is a single home, exposure three four. There we go. Uh, we we don't have fireplaces, but even if we don't have it, I I put one just to be safe to be conservative or in case the homeowner wants to add a fireplace in the future all right okay now since we oh let's check on the worksheet very quick see all my values are filled up there is no rows with zero 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 okay so everything is ready for the equipment selections so uh, is everyone ready for equipment selection all right let's go so for equipment selection what we're gonna do is click on this icon it says equipment and the shortcut is f7 okay at the end you should be able to just handle only shortcuts shortcuts will save you a lot of time see for example this shortcut could be Control m this is Control j this is f7 okay but let's click in this uh, when we're clicking on this here is the equipment selection Okay, let's start with the tar target CFM. For the target CFM, what you need to see is what system type do you have? Okay, so in this house, what are you gonna have? Because now do you that you have the load, you have two options. So is it gas or is it electric or is it a dual fuel? Okay, oh, yeah, which is a combination which one it is so for this video and for this example we're going to consider a gas furnace okay it's not electric it's gas furnace for other videos we, we can make electric with an electrical strip with a heat pump but in this case is the most conventional system and my outdoor unit is going to be ac and it's going to be a split system a split means that you're going to have a couple one is outdoor and the other one is in the indoor environment okay so that's why we're doing for cooling we're going to put a split ac there we go you can put none but let's put a split ac and then you're going to have for heating what is for heating type is going to be a furnace okay we have a furnace but sometimes whenever you want to have a uh, electric instead of natural gas you're going to put electricity right there we go but now what electricity there we go electric furnace it gives you already the option in here but we're doing we're choosing natural gas for now okay there we go so for system type cooling split ac heating furnace and fuel natural gas water heating is not important right now because we're only talking about the air conditioning system okay but now what we have to do we go to data I usually don't fill this out because this is uh, this is estimating initial cost, finance. We don't do that. Features, you can put in here some description of the units or whatever, right? But I usually don't. Uh, I, we don't worry about that. And gas water heater, we don't worry about that. In fact, what what what, what if we do this? None. There we go. If you put none in water heater, then you will you will not have that tab. Okay, so in this case, the two most important the three the four, three most most important tabs are system, split AC, gas furnace, split AC, gas furnace. There we go, and then performance at, at the end at the end once you select the system. Okay, so let's start with the split AC. When you go to the tab split AC, automatically automatically you need to think about targets what is your target cfm okay everything is targeting here as you can see where do you start with targets as you can see in here it says target capacities your target cooling capacity is for sensible this and for latent this okay see you have your target capacities therefore you have your target cfm it says design cfm in here but it's actually target CFM okay or estimated a, 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 a AVF okay so now the target CFM is 721 29 okay and now also take this into account heating equals cooling for this case we can do heating equals cooling 
But in practice, heat in CFM is not equal to cooling CFM. The heat in CFM is different than the cooling CFM. But for this video, we're gonna, let's make it like heating and cooling equal. It's very gonna, it's gonna be very quick. It, it doesn't affect it incredibly so much. Okay, it doesn't. Okay, so now that we have a split AC, we have everything ready in here. We have the target CFM. For furnace, it's gonna be the same CFM as you can see in here. Okay, heating equals cooling, and you have your target capacity for heating. This is your target capacity. Therefore, this is your target CFM. So in the video we were saying we're going to talk about target there you have your target cfm how do you obtain this target manually the target cfm is actually based on the formula cfm equals sensible load divided by 1.1 times temperature difference and that temperature difference comes from a table okay so now let's start selecting the equipment a split ac in order to select the equipment what we're going to do is select uh, hit on this button select equipment okay and once what what this is doing is getting a database on possible equipment okay so now you have to see what manufacturer you're going to be using you have aeon you have for out uh, doas units but you know the most common ones are uh, a main there we go you have a main um uh, you 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 have american standard see Choose whichever you consider, whichever they think, or whichever manufacturer you work with. You have carrier, okay? Well, in this case, we can choose, uh, see, we have Lennox, all right? But let's check in here. You have Samsung, Terminal, you have Train. Let's choose in here the kind of uh, Goodman, because we have a lot of information about Goodman. It's easy to obtain their manuals and everything is available, okay? So let's choose this Goodman. And now, since we cho chose Goodman, what type of equipment are you interested? Okay, here is asking you about the condenser prefix. What is the condenser? Uh, usually, if you go to Goodman in, in the internet, you're going to be able to find the GSX. GSX, that's the model. And since this is now depends, depends on how much you want to spend. Say that the, you want to spend something like very expensive, not very expensive, but this is 16 seer. See, it's going to give you only 16 seer. But uh, say something very economic, popular, 14 seer. There you go. So GSX 14 seer. And there we go. We have the condenser model. Now, what about the coil? Because you need the coil. So the coil is going to be, let's put a cup F. Cup F, there you go. You just need to put the first character under coil and then you click anywhere and it's going to start looking. There you go. You have a combination of both. Okay. So now what you can do in here is see you have different combinations in here with GMAC, GBC. Okay. Let's select one that is without a furnace. We're going to select the furnace independently. Let's check on this, for example. There we go. GSX14030 and then we, we, we have this coil. This is without a furnace, without a combination of a furnace. But because the furnace, what we're going to do with the furnace is we're going to select that independently. Okay. All right. So let's go with that example. There you go. What is it? There we go. See? 28,000. Okay. So in also it tells you in here that it, the current selection means the manual is requirements. Also, also, this is very interesting. You can always change this, your minimum and maximum overcooling capacity. Okay. So if you change it to 200, you're going to have more selections. If you put in here 100 to 110, you have less selections. Manual S allows you to have an overcooling capacity from 90% to 115%. In other words, 100% for me is good. 100% to 115%. But we're just putting 130 just to have more selections, okay? All right, so let's select this and then you're going to hit OK. There we go. And now as you can see, this is not target anymore. This is actually your design CFM. It's another CFM. It's not your target. But now what we're going to do, you selected that. Let's go for the furnace. Okay, so you're going to hit on the top of the furnace, and then in the furnace, you have this target CFM. Oh, no, your CFM is different. Now you have your target capacity, and let's go select equipment. Under select equipment, we were saying that um, when it's... Uh, it's very good to have only one manufacturer. Let's go with Goodman this time. Next, next time, we can do Lennox or a Train or whichever. Okay, so in this case, we have Goodman, and actually, 
according to Aka, you can have it until 200. There you go, from 100 to 200, there you go. But it's better to have it until 140. Uh, or worst case scenario is 200%, okay? So now we're gonna ch check on the on this, which is the model. Let's do a GM GMES. There you go. You just have to type the first words and then it's gonna give you the options. Okay, there is the option. It's, go, it's giving you a, this this first one, and then let's select the, let's select that one. Okay, there you go. Or let's select this one. There we go. And then hit OK. There we go. You have it. And then you have an AHRI reference number. Okay, and this is not a two stage. This is a single stage. Eighty percent AFUE. And then you're gonna hit apply. And then you have in here see AFUE apply. There we go. So now you have the split AC and you have the heating, the heating and the cooling. The third tab is actually the performance. Under the performance, automatically you can check if this complies with manual S. So in manual S, you're going to hit in here. Ow, oh, oh, this is perfection. See, do you see this? This is 110%. So this has to be below 115%. Okay, it's not a good idea to have like even 90%. No, 90% means that it's undersized, which I don't believe. My rule of thumb is like, have it above 105% and maximum 115%. All right, so there you go. It's compliant with manual S and then we're going to hit OK. There we go, apply. And okay, that's how you select the equipment. And now finally, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check on the report. So to check on the report, manual report, we're not printing, we're just checking the preview. We're gonna go here. As you can see in here, it's a sprint preview. Under print preview, you're gonna have these options. Under these options, you're gonna check on the equipment right here. Under equipment, we're going to check on manual S compliance report. Let's click on it and then hit preview. Under preview, you can check and we're going to make it bigger. There we go. Bigger. See, in here you have the cooling equipment. The cooling equipment tells you the total capacity is 110%, which is below 115. It complies with ACA manual S. Okay, and then for heating, actually you have a 96% load, which is actually not, not good actually. Okay, but we're going to check on that actually, see? Because uh, as you guys, as everyone remembers, it has to be from 100 to 140, maximum 200%. So let's go ahead and go change that very quickly. Okay. So again, we're going to go to select equipment, gas furnace, select equipment. We're going to change this absolutely to another uh, number. Instead of a 40%, a we're going to put a 60K furnace. Let's put on a 60K right there. Okay, let's see what it gives us. So this is 60K, 40K. Let's try a 60K. There you go. We put OK. Let's put Apply. And then let's see what's our performance is still going to be good because this is based on the condenser C109, which is still good below 115 for cooling. Now let's go check on the report preview. In the preview, we're going to check on the equipment, see, manual S, equipment ACA, manual S compliance report, preview, and then let's see, okay, all right, I guess it's a little bit better, I, I, I would like it, is it if it's below 140, but 142 is not going uh, to be a big deal, see, 142. The maximum it could go is 200%, but that's so much. But ACA recommends from 100 to 140. This is 142. It's still, it's still very good. It's going to work and it's not going to do short cycling. And for the cooling capacity, it's 110. And once you are ready, you can always print this out, this report, and then everything would be ready. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. And leave any comment that you might think you can put this is a great video Roberto, or whatever you want okay so and also share this uh with anyone else well i'll see you in the next video thank you very much